नमस्कार प्रणाम सताल आदा बैरी पुणे हेलो वेलकम थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी टूडे ऑन दिस very special occasion i'd like to extend my warmest welcome to all the fellow gamers and enthusiasts so let's just get started i'll hang back there was a time when resources seemed endless but in 2030 the great energy crisis began with hardly any resources left on our world Global Powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon, spearheaded by the Lunar Council. The WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT. They've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. This mesmerizing world of gaming let us remember to prioritize not only the enjoyment we find in playing but also our well-being so let's just without a further ado let us indulge in this fantastic adventure of challenges in outer space and action series deliver us the moon let's just get started i'll be with you with this gameplay my name is akshit kala and i'm just started this youtube channel and i hope that you guys all like it from the bottom of my heart I'm trying to make this content for you and just for you guys. and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPC ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Cage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wish you a safe and happy day. All right, let's find out where we are. And 
and jump. What is this? It's a map of something. Let's just inspect it. Control to Fortuna One, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. mission will be over for good. Don't worry. We won't let that happen. So R2 scan. since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online.
once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Control times. center. We're let's good. go. Come. We reached the control I'm center and it let's see what the mission right is all about. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the end. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Initiate power reboot. Reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Let's find fuel. Fuel closing.
back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Okay guys, let's just see what we did is enough for this rocket to launch. get inside the rocket and fly the hell out of here go 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 Run, 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 run. Oh no, oh no. Open, open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're inside the rocket. Go fast. Sorry guys, we missed that up. Let's go. Hydrogen burn off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Sending life for countdown. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start one. We have lift off. Oh no. All right, guys, we've reached the space from Earth. Astronauts made their way to the moon 
bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson. Claire, we need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... So guys, we've reached the moon, but we don't know what was the clear message that was sent from the control center. And I think we have to fly on our own for a little while. Just for a while, I hope. We'll find something out. So please stick with us with this series of the Deliver Us to the Moon, only for you guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please do give us a like, share and comment in the section so we can also get your feedback of what it's like to be on that side. Thank you.